With the, the humble Rolls-Royce umbrella, um, there's a lot of engineering that goes into it. A lot of engineering. Number one, it's beautifully weighted. Number two, we don't have all that vulgar advertising all over the umbrella itself. The only time you see RR on this umbrella is right on the end there. So it's all very, very subtle. As far as the use of the umbrella goes, when we actually open it up, normally we'd have to slide it all the way up to get it to work. But not with this one. It's been so beautifully engineered, that's as far as we need to push the slide up. And then if we start concentrating on the engineering of it, not just one strut here, not even just two struts, but we actually have the silver thread up there as well, the metal thread. So the chances are you're going to go on a Mary Poppins before you ever have this turning inside out. When we reverse the process, again, it's a simple movement there, and then it's very easy to wrap the umbrella back up again. One of the downsides of putting a, a damp umbrella back into the vehicle, though, will be a potential of having mould come up onto the umbrella. So we've taken care of that with a couple of things. Number one, there's a Teflon coating. Number two, there's an antibacterial agent. But as if that's not enough, when we put the umbrella back in, underneath in the slide, there's actually uh, some vents uh, in the, the uh, bit where the umbrella goes into. Those vents are not just to let the water drip out, but some of the heat from the engine is directed towards those vents to actually make sure the umbrella dries properly. So if you've taken that much care with an umbrella, how much do we really have to worry about the quality of the rest of the vehicle?